Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I wanted to do a little spring cleaning and show you my vintage vanity and all my vintage accessories that I have. So I thought I'd take you along with me. Here is just a little before of everything that I have. It's all unorganized and it's all pretty dusty. So I'm going to start off by just clearing it all off and wiping everything down and then I'm going to reorganize it. I'm just taking my makeup brushes and I'm going to wash them. They've needed a good washing for a while, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that while I have everything else out cleaning for my vanity. I have my vanity cleaned off, ready to put back all of these things. So now I just have to clean these. See, like there's a lot of dust and they just need to be shined up and cleaned and then I'll figure out how I'm going to organize them and put them back on the vanity. So here is the vanity all done. Everything's cleaned and put away. And up here, this is a vintage purse and this was my great grandma's. I don't know what year it was from, but that was gifted to me and it's very special. Here I have an old Q-Tex traveling manicure set. It's dated back, I saw the date on here somewhere. This is from this piece of paper that came with it. It was dated 1924.
have a old lipstick. It's a Hazel Bishop brand. But this one is really cool because how it works is you just pull this thing and it opens. And there's actually still the lipstick in there. It's really neat. And I just have a lipstick holder with some of the Revlon Moondrops lipstick, but then this one is also another um, vintage lipstick. Try to get it to focus. It's also the uh, Hazel Bishop brand. But in this one, I actually replaced the lipstick and put a new, I sanitized this and took out the old lipstick and I put a new lipstick red in there so I can actually use this. And if you're interested in figuring out how you can switch out an old lipstick and put a new one in the old containers, I can do a video on that. Just let me know if you're interested in something like that. I love Besame Cosmetics and I've got their Snow White and Sleeping Beauty eyeshadow palette. And then in here, I just have a lot of different vintage brooches. And this was my grandma's watch, sterling silver. And she wore this only to special occasions. She would wear this to church and if she was going somewhere fancy. But now I have it and it's very special. powder boxes and compacts. And some from Besame. Ring holder. Here is my perfume collection of all my favorite perfumes. So this one is uh, the Besame Cosmetics, the 1940 perfume that they had. This perfume I got actually when I was in Paris. We have Chanel number no. five, the classic. This perfume, this Versace Bright Crystal, this one is actually my signature scent. This is what I would wear every day usually. And the Versace Yellow Diamond is another one of my favorites. This perfume is um, Guerlain. And this one is one I very, really rarely use because it's so fancy. My husband got me this because when I was in Paris also, I saw that for sale. But I didn't get it and then I wished that I always had, but then he tracked it down and got it for me for Christmas a couple of years ago. And this perfume bottle, this was my grandma's also. Right now it's just filled with a very Victoria's Secret perfume, I think, but I just have that because I think it's so pretty. And then here I have my base head lady. Um, I keep all my makeup brushes in there which you saw we cleaned those today. Going over here, I have these. They're the Flamingo Vintage. I think they're from the 40s because that's what it looks like. 1952, it says, I guess, down there. vintage bobby pins. These are old little things to take care of your nails with. 
This is just where I put my rings when I take them off at night. And I have this old lipstick holder and it's filled with all of my Bessemer lipsticks. So that's all of my tour of my vintage cosmetics and the clean with me. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you stick around and subscribe if you're new and like this video if you did.